Welcome back to Brazen Brits, my name is Lawrence. Natalie is not here right now. Uh, we actually have friends in town. John from our Route 66 series, if, uh, if you watch that. Anyway, we left you last week where we rip out the outdoor kitchen uh, and all of the bunk from the bunkhouse and then we're hopefully gonna turn that into an office. I have a week to do this, so I'm gonna get going. Uh, let's see how this goes. Really makes me wonder. one is done. Um, I was going to build my own desk in here and kind of build it to, you know, however I wanted, but I kind of wanted a stand-up desk uh, or a, an electric desk that you can sit down or stand up. So I bought this and I found this is a pretty good price. It seems very good. I found it on Amazon. I'll leave the link below if you're interested. Maybe I should turn it on first and see if it actually works. This is the first time I've done this. Oh, look. Right, there's a funny tinging noise and I know exactly what that is. There is a cover, there's a mechanism underneath and there's a cover, a metal cover. And it, it's almost a bit short, so it's just like, there's like a hexagon thing and it's like hitting against that. So I need to either bend that out or just take it off. It's only there as a safety thing. But that is very cool. All right, here's the bit I was telling you about. I don't know if you can see up here, there's like a little, little thing in there. So all I'm gonna do is just bend this out a bit. Now it's not hitting. Let's try it. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so the cool thing is it's got presets, so you can just press it and it'll go up or down. You have four presets. Um, so this is exactly what I want. Now the problem is I then need to build stuff around it. So we need to get Opie's crate in here because that's gonna be the bottom of that. And then I'm gonna build a cabinet, hopefully on this side. I also need to figure out where I'm going to put all the power because I need the power outlets and um, the 12 volt power as well for some lights and my router so I need to figure out basically I need to do planning now so I'm going to turn this off I'm going to plan what I can and then I will show you once I've decided what we're going to do. So I have constructed the base of the cabinet and the top of Opie's crate, as you can see here, using some of the stuff that we ripped out, which is good. So my challenge here is to try and make this look as factory as I possibly can. So for now, this is good enough. So what I need to do is get this bolted to the wall, <coughs> get a couple of legs on it, and then make sure that Opie's crate can fit underneath, and then I can start building the cabinet above. So I have some ideas. So let's fast forward that. I have my friend Rob here to help me. Uh, let's see how this goes. filmed some of this because uh, it was quite tedious and filming seems to take ev make everything take like three times longer than it should but I've done some things so I have um, and with thanks to a couple of friends to help me with this especially Rob and uh, Natalie and Mike but uh, we built this frame here for Opie's crate so this is nicely framed in there the desk will be here which is behind me right now because I've been working on these 
power outlets. So it's a little bit overkill, but I had four 120 volt cables coming through, as you can see in the corner. I need to tidy this up. Uh, and I don't need this many power outlets, but I figured one of them I think was for the microwave on the outdoor kitchen. Uh, I had one for the outdoor kitchen uh, power outlets. Um, we had one for the fridge in the outdoor kitchen. And then we had another one for the indoor power outlets um, for, the, for the bed and things. So you could have a TV here. Um, we also had the cable and satellite connections. I replugged those in, never used them, probably never gonna use them, but they're there. So if we ever sell it or anyone ever wants this, they can. Uh, and then, so yeah, so these are the three, they're on different circuits, which is nice. And then I have another one over here that I haven't installed to go in the cabinet that will be here where my PC will be. I also ordered a custom outlet. So you can order these and we can leave the link. There's no affiliation at all. I, you know, it's not the best quality, but it does exactly what I want it to do. So my PC, as you can see, it's the extra wide. So I can have three, more than three inputs, but I only use three inputs. One for this side of the monitor, one for this side of the monitor. So it's essentially two different screens. And then I have one other one for my Xbox. So I need three HDMI cables. I, this also has a USB hub on the monitor. So you can plug one USB cable into it from the PC and then you can draw more out. So for things like the mouse or something like that, you, or you wanted another little USB hub, you could use that. So I have had this created for very affordable price. It has three HDMI ports and one USB port. On the back, you just plug it in. So all you need is an HDMI cable. So that will live here, which means that will finish off everything nicely. Now there's one thing that I hate, which is cables, hate them. Um, and so that will hide all of the cables in here. So what I have done is my PC will be here, as I just said, here is a HDMI cable. Yes, I bought them a bit longer than I probably should have. So all of those cables will feed all the way through here. They're just hanging out the back here and then fit into the back of that. So then all the cables just go from here into the back of the monitor. And that also helps with the desk that moves up and down. So there's a bit of flexibility there. So that's the progress so far. I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed. And I think that's gonna to have to do it for this weekend. <sighs> Lots to do. So now I just need to build the cabinet and figure out how I'm gonna do that. So far, also, apart from buying this and these outlets, because I didn't wanna use the old RV ones because they're crap. So I bought some decent ones and did it properly. Uh, I have not used, other than buying those things, I have not bought anything else. I've used everything from the outdoor kitchen that we ripped out. And I think I can do the whole thing without buying anything other than things like this or screws. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> good so the good thing about this is well it fits and I didn't screw it up because I only have very limited amount of this the bad things are one the ceiling is something like 51 inches this side and 51 and a half that side so that's why this is bowing out a bit now once I get a bit of wood here to hold this we should be okay um, the the other thing is actually I was worried about like heat and expansion but the ceiling has a lot of movement, so I'm not worried about too much about that bowing. So I think I'm just gonna get a bit of wood, put it on here, screw it on, and then that should keep it tight. If it needs any expansion in any way, it, it will be able to go up. Uh, the other problems that I don't like, I mean, this light could be handy. I'm gonna wire that in and just leave it there. This was the, uh, the ceiling of the outdoor kitchen, I think. Must've been because it was a light here. So I think I'm just gonna leave that light. It has a couple of holes here, here, and here. 
and it has these which is where all the power went through um, so I'm gonna have to figure a way of covering that up I got a couple of ideas but it's way back there anyway so I'm not too worried all right so let's carry on okay it's a few days later I'm literally doing a, like an hour a day on this so it's very difficult to remember actually where I filmed so you're seeing this right after I left off last time but it's been a couple of days for me I've done a few little bits here and there so here's my progress now, I don't know if you see this very clearly behind here I have a let's have the strip with everything on I've got all of this connected up this is all powered loads of outlets and I've got my HDMI outlets that come into this cabinet over there I also put this wall up now this is the best bit I could find it already had a light in it because this was the roof of the other one and it's got some holes which are annoying I'm gonna have to figure out how to hide those but so far I've spent nothing but money on screws until today so I need to build another frame for this area here so this will be walled in and so I did have to go and buy some um, uh, some lumber for that but it was only 10 bucks for tons of it so it was just the cheap stuff and it's really light as well and then I have actually fitted this so this cabinet was on the floor underneath the bed uh, and so that's all fitted it's a little bit flappy flappy wobbly so I need to uh, strengthen that, put another bit on here, but this is basically uh, done, this front bit. So I'm very pleased with that. It's all straight, everything fits, so it's fantastic. Desk still works, so now I'm just gonna work on building a frame for this part of the wall here. And then we're nearly done. Just some little touch-up bits and build some shelves, so I'm gonna get on with that. I'll check in soon. I have constructed the corner wall. I hope it fits because the ceiling is different heights all over the place. So I'm going to try and jam this in there. All right, let's have a look, shall we? That did not go to plan. I also put it in the wrong way. Uh, and somehow, oh, stupid. Oh, I'll be back in a sec. Second attempt. I put it the right way up this time. So that way it should fit where it's meant to go the right way up. Oh man, this one bit, are you, I don't have screws long enough, but they're definitely in. Just suck it in. two problems I've got one is I'm using screws that are too small they're not crazy too small but they're just a tiny little bit too much that they're just not gripping in so a couple bits fell off it doesn't matter though because it's jammed between there and there and uh, it's nicely pushed up so all of this this is like a half inch between here and here uh, and so I've pushed it up a bit so that should be fine um, looks good it's fine the only thing I need to do is for cover to get the wall on here and I just need some bits around here for it, the wall to staple to then I can get the walls on this was the bit I was dreading. This was probably the hardest bit. So after that, we get to do the fun stuff. Right, so I have the corner wall in. Strengthen this so the door shuts perfectly. Just a few bits, that's nice. Now I can't wait to actually get the, uh, the walls up. So this is where I'm pretty scared about because I have limited bits of board, as you know. And so far this entire thing not including the outlets but the entire thing has cost me 20 bucks that's for a little bit of extra bit of timber and some screws uh, so including that stuff maybe a hundred bucks with the power outlets 
I reckon. I'm about 100 bucks in. So, I don't want to screw up this wall panel, otherwise I'm going to have to find another thing. So I need one bit here, one bit here, one bit here, and one bit there. And I think I have enough, as long as I don't mess up. Remember, measure once, cut twice. Oh, in case you were wondering, the Vi-Air does power a small nail gun. It's more of a stapler, I guess, but uh, rather than a nail gun, but it's perfect to, uh, to clip the siding on. So yeah, the Vi-Air works. I just realized, always use safety glasses doing this stuff. I always learn my lesson about once a year because if something throws in my eyes. Don't use me as an example. Beautiful, so there is some like silicon on here, but this will come off. But this is the main bit, this is the best bit I had. Um, so it looks pretty good. Nail holes, there's some, get a corner or something for that, but I think it looks great. It's like a wall, what do you think? All right, just these last two bits around here. I'm gonna call it quits for the night. So, I didn't screw up once, not even once. Actually I did, I had to I cut the top a little bit long but I just trimmed it, so I didn't mess up any panels. So I have loads of this stuff now guys, if you want it. Some of it's got holes in, but that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. I don't really care too much on this side. Sorry, that's my buy air. There is this, this seam here, you can get like corner bits for it. I know whether I'm gonna do that or not. Now there's one test that I need to check. If I put the desk up, I want to make sure it doesn't rub in this corner. Let's have a look. Oh, oh. oh it's perfect. You do not get any more perfect than that. This is probably my best work I've ever done, I'm going to be honest. I messed up. I don't know how, um, because I thought I tested all of this, but, so a quick recap. I have the three outlets here, one, two, three. I thought I had four uh, 120 volt power supplies. So there's this cable here. And so I was gonna have that as my power for, so I bought this, but I built this, and that was gonna be the power source for this for my PC and Xbox and router and everything like that. However, I was showing someone around the rig and the uh, the chairs, the electric uh, theatre room chairs that come up and everything, uh, had no power. And I thought, well, that's weird, they're in the slide. And so then I tried the other outlet underneath the booth. I won't go out there because I've got the AC on, but uh, that didn't work either. So basically whatever I've done here, cut out all the power in the slide. And I know what it is. I thought this was, a power source and it's not weirdly the power seems to come all the way to the back and then this feeds that slide so I'm going to I'm not gonna make you watch all of this but I'm gonna to have to take a spur off of this I've cut the hole now so I don't want to take this out 
otherwise I would have just had two outlets here but I need to take this power source which would have been for the outdoor kitchen and take a spur off this and put it into the cabinet and then connect that to this outlet and this which will feed back to the outlets on the slide in the main room so it's annoying because it well I mean that it's not it's it's easy to do but it's the access is the problem now I've got all of this all, all done I don't want to take I've screwed the desk to the floor and everything so I'm gonna have to like lean over the monitor to actually get to that which isn't a problem but it's, it's not comfortable first world problems right all right I won't make you watch it I'm gonna go ahead and fix this and then I want to get my PC in here uh, and see how it works and then I need to build some shelves, get some fancy lighting. Right, so I have tried my hardest to do all of this before this video, but it is now Saturday night. It's about nine o'clock, maybe eight o'clock. I didn't finish it, I'm sorry. However, we did a lot. And so I actually had John here from Route 66. He's been helping me with some of this. So this is as far as I've got. I'm sorry, I thought it would be done in this video, but I still need to go and edit this video now before you guys get to see it tomorrow. So everything's good it's all in there's no cables almost no cables i do like a cabled keyboard and i do like a cabled mouse that's the only thing actually one other thing that uh i remember back in the 90s there was a whole thing about rechargeable batteries and i don't know why but i just stopped using rechargeable batteries which is really wasteful so uh I've started using rechargeable ones again. Now these are the best ones I've found so far, most affordable. This is like 20 bucks for the charger and you get four double A's and four triple A's. So um, I'll leave the link below for this, but I'm gonna try and start using more rechargeable batteries rather than just, you know, being wasteful and throwing normal ones away. Um, but yeah, I do like two cables. That's all I can see, which is which is fantastic. The desk all works. So I've got some presets here. So gonna, I need to screw that in properly, but so. I could have it in the sit down position. I haven't even, I have been working here. I've been editing here for the past couple of days. I have a mat here. So thank you to Michelle from Our Life Whirlwind for suggesting that everything needs a clean. So please excuse the dust and things. I need to, I need to do that. So that's what it looks like when it's up. This is perfect height for me. Uh, it can go higher or lower and go up a little bit more, but this is about right for me. This also gives me better access to all of the uh, things behind. Another tip, if you're doing this, like with this that I showed you, um, I got very confused about the cables, so I actually bought some labels, some cable labelers, um, so they're color coded. So I have a blue, green, and an orange, and then I've labeled the cables the other way so that I can see which one goes where in the cabinet. Other than that, as far as I've got, there's a few things I want to do. I have started on another little project in the RV that I'm hopefully going to get out to you guys by next week. Um, and that will make a difference in here as well. But the main structure is here. This is all completely usable. I have my PC and everything inside here. All of the internet and everything works in here. So we are ready for our long trip. Uh, and yeah, the basic structure is here. So there's a few things, like I said, I want to do some shelves and there's a few other little things that I'm hoping I can show you next week. All right, well again, sorry it's not completely done, but uh, I think you get the idea. And uh, it all looks nice over there because I just chucked it all down here. It's an absolute mess, so I need to tidy up, clean up, and then we're good to go. But uh, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully next week this will all be done and we'll see. But uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like it, uh, subscribe, hit the thanks button if you really want to. And if you'd like to support, Natalie and myself, you can hit the join button and become a channel member and become a brassiere. All right, we will see you next week.